All right, let's set up a Jupyter Notebook in VS Code. So I'm just gonna start from scratch so you know there's no funny business going on over here. And let's get this onto this side of the screen. New terminal, go into my videos folder and let's make a directory for VS Code Video. CD into it and open up Visual Studio Code. All right, brand new situation going on here. Fun times for all. So what I need to do, because my VS Code is totally jacked, is I need to get into here, so let's cd into VS Code Video, and now I'm in the right directory. All right, this is probably about the time when you're gonna start the thing. So I'm just gonna follow along with what's on here so you know that everything is legit. I'm gonna skip the prerequisites, you can watch that, do it yourself. Anyways, here's the process. Step one, create your project folder. Hey, we already did that. Okay, great. So we created our project folder, and we did it like this, make directory, make project, good. Now we're on step two. What do you know? So navigate to it and blah, 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 blah. So the first thing I wanna do is create a virtual environment. You don't have to do this, but here you go. Python 3, for me, let's make this a little bit bigger for y'all. Python 3, virtual environment, virtual environment, jupes video. Hmm, 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 hmm. hmm. Python 3-M, virtual environment, virtual environment, jupes video. That created my virtual environment. Now I need to activate it with source, venv, tab completion, bin, activate. Do I have that right? Cool, there it is. Now you have your virtual environment and it is activated. Step three, step three, we're gonna install IPy kernel, so pip, install ipy kernel Ta -da. it runs things happen magic step four now that we have that installed we have to create a new kernel so this syntax is a little bit crazy you can copy and paste it but i type fast and i have this super loud annoying keyboard which i love so i'm going to type it so we're going to go python 3 dash m ipy kernel install and then dash dash user dash dash name equals, and you can name it whatever you want. Let's call it a uh, VS Code video. Wasn't sure if I was supposed to put that in quotes or not. I guess we're gonna see what happens. It looks like it worked. Okay, so now we want to do that. We already did that. Now we're gonna start Jupyter. Okay, so hopefully you have the Jupyter extension installed. All that stuff that we just got through, blah, blah, blah. Here's the fun stuff, right? So we're gonna start Jupyter Notebook. This is at least how I do it. We're gonna start Jupyter Notebook like we normally would. It opens up a browser, ta-da. And there's a couple routes you can go here. So if you did this right, you should see some nonsense like this down here. And you can see to access this notebook in a open this file in a browser or paste one of these URLs. So you have a whole bunch of choices, yippee. But what we need to basically, the main point right here is that we have started Jupyter and we have this thing running on our system. And actually if I zoom out a little bit, okay, we'll see in a minute. So we wanna select a kernel for our project and this is where you can go a couple different directions. So you can open up the VS Code search bar and create a new Jupyter notebook like this. Just start typing and create and you can see new Jupyter notebook there. And you can see like as you start doing stuff, you're gonna be able to see things happening. Well, I haven't saved this yet, but let's just save it, call it that. Okay, cool. So there's my notebook that I just saved, right? So these things are kind of linked. So you can do some stuff in the browser and some stuff in VS Code if you're more comfortable with it. For example, if you want to start the kernel, you just saw some things happen right there. All I did was click on it. It says it's not trusted. This is a key thing to debug, but let's get back on track. So we've opened VS Code search bar. We said create new Jupyter Notebook, it's here. Something to notice, two things. One, down here, Jupyter Server, local. Up here, Python 3, 1, whatever. It's showing the kernel, uh, showing the, the interpreter that you're using. So I'm using a Mac, it's on Homebrew. There it is, blah, 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 blah. Now, this is where you wanna select a notebook kernel. So you can Command Shift P again and start typing in notebook and select a notebook kernel because it's running, Jupyter's already running. And where's the one we just did? It was called VS Code Video. And you can see this guy changes over here to VS Code Video. So now you're using that kernel, pretty sweet. 
And then at the bottom of your code window, you can see down here, it says local. So if you wanna run it locally, you totally can. Um, or if you want to run it not locally, you totally can too. I don't even really know the difference. I kind of mess around with it and the world hasn't exploded yet, so we're probably fine. Now, back here to troubleshooting a situation, I'm going to reload this page. You can see here that it's now trusted because we went in here and we did the thing where we said select notebook kernel and we chose one. So it made the link. If that's not working for you guys, it's not working for you, then what you can do is this other trick where here. Number two. Okay, so now we have number two here. He's probably going to immediately get trusted. Okay, so he's not trusted. So if the thing didn't work when you did it in here, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Click on not trusted and then just say trust. And all of a sudden, this one is now trusted, but it's running on Python 3 IPy kernel. It's still not connected here. So if you want to, you can go over and select a new one. Where is our VS Code video? Cool, so that one's gonna run there. And now there's something I left out of this article, I believe. No, here. Yeah, if you wanna run it at the bottom of this, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so if you wanna run it not locally, this is the part I left out. Lucky you, you watched the video, you lazy son of a. Okay, so what you do is you can, when we uh, connected originally, where is it? Okay, here. So when we connected originally, we got these URLs. If you click in here, you can connect to a remote Jupyter server and use somebody else's resources for your processing. And what you want to do is say, specify the thing, paste in your situation, click enter. And now you can see I'm using the remote. So what have we covered? We have covered um, create your Jupyter Notebook using the create Jupyter Notebook situation right there. First of all, do that. Then, well, create your virtual environment first, then create that. Then what you want to do is you have to install the IPy kernel and activate it, blah, blah, blah. And you choose your kernels here. And then you choose whether or not you want to do local or remote down here. And then if you have any problems, Kind of go back and forth between the browser and you should be good to go those are like all the situations i've run into that made this super annoying but you're done see you later click like subscribe something go tell your mom that you know how to run virtual environments and jupyter notebooks in vs code just get out of here see ya